let us begin again with Dragon Age Origins. Um, I think today we're going to do Rasta Redcliffe uh, and hopefully get access to blood magic. Who built this tunnel? Oh. Away from me. someone out there who is it by all that's holy you I can't believe it took the words right out of my mouth makers breath how did you get here I never thought I'd see you again of all people oh the mage lady of souls mentioned you've spoken with her then you know I poisoned Arlene for all I know, he's already dead. Just one more crime you've committed, then. Please, I know how it seems. Poisoning the Arl was a, a terrible thing. But I'm not behind everything else happening here, I swear! Before I say anything else, I need to ask you a question. You can do whatever you feel you need to afterward, but I need to know. What became of Lily? They didn't hurt her, did they? The thought that she might have paid for my crime. You should have known better, Joan. You're right, I should have. But please, just tell me if she's all right. Chantry sent her away. I do not know where. Oh, my poor Lily. She must hate me now, if she even lives. What have I done? So, here we are again, the two of us. What happens now? What's going on in the castle? I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So they left me to rot. So did you summon this demon? No, I know nothing about summoning demons. Why did the ILS hire you to tutor her son? Lady Isolde was looking for a mage to tutor Connor's secret. Terran Loghain found out and he sent me. I was to use the opportunity to poison the Arl. I was told that Arl Aemon was a threat to Ferelden, that if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. All I wanted was to be able to return. But he abandoned me here, didn't he? 
Everything's fallen apart. I never thought it would end like this. Maker, I've made so many mistakes. I've disappointed so many people. I wish I could go back and fix it. I just want to make everything right again. You're a blood mage, John. How can you make things right? I don't know. I dabbled because it seemed the only way Lily and I could escape. The only way I could avoid being made tranquil. I swear, if I knew what would happen, I'd never have started down this path. I'd never have listened to Logan. This doesn't explain everything that's happened. Connor had started to show signs. Lady Isold was terrified the circle of magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. How much magic did you teach, Connor? Some, but he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful, at least not intentionally. I have thought about it, and it's possible Connor could have inadvertently done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. Aliman had no idea of his son's ability. No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son, and that infuriated her. I he Arl's a decent man. I wondered how he could possibly be the threat Loghain said he was, but I did it anyway. I'm such a fool. What do you intend to do I'm about just it? sick of running away and hiding from what I've done. I'm going to try to fix it any way I can. We were friends once. I know I don't deserve to call you that after what I did. If it ever meant anything, please help me fix this. I don't know. I say this boy could still be of use to us, but if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks, or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? Like yourself, you mean? Everyone Oof. deserves a chance to redeem themselves in the Maker's eyes. This man, no less than any. He's your friend. You know him best. Give me a chance, please. How will you make things right? I... Well, I try to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. And after that, what happens? Afterwards? I assume I'll be arrested. Or executed. Or whatever people like me get. A part of me knew right from the beginning that I'd have to face the consequences one day. I knew I'd be caught, eventually. Everything I've done has just delayed the inevitable. I'm done with running and hiding. I need to account for what I've done. That's commendable if it's true. I'm glad you think so. So what now? Letting you out of your cell, don't try. Letting anything. me out? And what then? You come with me, that's what. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger, exactly. Beggars can't be choosers, come or stay. And I will wait. If you change your mind, I will be here. I shall do it. Put 
these cells are tiny. Be done. Hold up the note. Whoever finds this can read it. I had thought that my last words might be used as kindling or make a bid to wipe someone's bum. That happens to stance, I suppose. My name is Brannon. I was born in Rainosphere. I grew apples once upon a time. When the Orlesians came to demand, I bowed to their emperor. I turned them away. They set fire to my orchards, to my house too. But I didn't care. I stood and watched them burn. Trees die eventually, houses fall, but my honour can only be lost if I let it. They came back a week later and demanded that I swear an oath. This time when I refused, they clapped me in irons. Now I'm here, and I'll die in this place. It seems a foolish thing to die for, doesn't it? I could have said a few words and rebuilt my home. Gone with my life as if nothing had changed. If a hundred generations of my family would have lived and died on that land, I won't be the one to trade our family honour for apples. However you are, whatever they've brought you here for, if you leave this place, I hope you'll go to Rain's Fair. There's no living remnant of us left there, but, if, but you'll find my family all the same. We're stamped onto the earth, we're in the wind that rustles the trees. Tell my family how I died, and I promise you, they'll hear. Ooh. I knew they were going to come off. Something I can help with? Do you know of this place? Redcliffe? I know little of it except that it is the domain of the Isle of Redcliffe. Redcliffe? I wonder how the name came to be. Is the clay here red? There are places in this world where the clay is a bright, strange red, and often, in the legends of such places, it is the red of blood. The blood of a thousand men slaughtered in battle, or that of an innocent, unjustly slain. It stains the land that it may never be forgotten. Perhaps Redcliffe has one such tale. But I do not know it. Let's uh, talk about something I can help with. Uh, nothing, never mind. <laughs> I have to ask you something. So, full of questions. Never mind. Alistair. What do you need? Never mind. As you say. Very well. Hey. Pile of bones. This was lovely.
a great book. I shall do it. Prophet born. Hello. for him to be done. Oh, for God's sake. Need to get her fees thing like way up. begun. Put it into magic. Oh, that might be nice. Force field might be better. boost magic. Oh 
god. Oh my god. Take one of them. There we go. Good. ahead oh mm -hmm. nice As soon as I do that, I go back to um. It shall be done. Oh, hello. <gasps> Please don't hurt me. Thank you, Terps. Come down. I'm not going to hurt you. I, I'm sorry. I'm so frightened. These monsters are everywhere. My, my name's Valena. The Arlesa's maid. I is she... all right? What happened to everyone? Oh, that is the Smith's daughter. They know the Smith's daughter. You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? There is a tunnel leading out in the dungeon. But, but the 
monsters. I've killed most of them, it's safe. I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. Basement. Master. Um, I'm just going to put all your points into that skill level up. Um, sure. Shall do it. It shall be done. Hey. There's a door here. That just goes to the cold. Allow me. I could do that for you. Hey, I can actually unlock one. Very well. Junk.
Ooh. Hey, love letter. Our love is to endure. Jesus. Morgan go there. them just yet. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. Required, so we do actually have to go through the basement, right? God, our star, can you use one of them? Alistair, you know. 
Please, by all means, use that. Field on Shall be done. Getting a lot of money. I suppose we could have made that fight easier by lifting the gate, couldn't we? Oh well. Very well. You have opened the gates. That is good. My men and I are eager to see our Arl again. Shall we enter the main hall together? It must be held if we are to regain control of the castle. I wanted to look around as, as you wish. Us. We will hold the gate and watch for anyone attempting to leave. Let me know if the situation changes. There we go. Got my knights in. That barrel injury kit, which is good. Unmarked tree. I shall do it. Train monitor. Unremarkable at this time. I think there's like there should be like some sort of quest or something for that. So these are our visitors, the ones you told me about, Mother. Y yes, Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers, the ones I sent to reclaim my village. Oh dear. Yes. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This, this is just a man, Connor, like your father. Oh, I am tired of hearing about him. Besides, 
He's nothing at all like father. Look at him. Breathing and not dying in the slightest. I could change that if I knew. Connor. Jesus. I beg you. Don't hurt anyone. Ma Mother? What? What's happening? Where am I? Oh, thank the maker. Connor. Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman. You are beginning to bore me. Grey Warden, please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. What did you do with Bantiga? Here I am. Here am I. <laughs> Jesus. I like him better this way. <laughs> no more yelling. Now he amuses me. <laughs> Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. And made a deal with the demon to do so? Foolish child. It was a fair deal, father is alive just as i wanted now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world nobody tells me what to do anymore mm, nobody tells him what to do nobody <laughs> quiet uncle i warned you what would happen if you kept shouting didn't i yes i did but let's keep things simple this man will have the audience he seeks. Tell us, what have you come here for? I came to stop you. I'm not finished playing. You can't make me stop. I think it's trying to spoil my fun, Mother. I... I don't think... Of course you don't. Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I crave excitement and action. This man spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village. Nah. And now he'll repay me. Yeah. Oh dear. Failed on Stop putting that spell on. now I think <laughs> my mind is my own again blessed and rested I would never have forgiven myself had you died but after I brought you here the fool I am please Connor's not responsible for this there must be some way we can save him 
Doesn't seem nowhere to end this happily. Clearly, the child is an abomination. There is only one way to stop it. But he's not always the demon you saw. The Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please, I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... What are our options? I wouldn't normally suggest slaying a child, but he's an abomination. I'm not sure there's any choice. We can't kill a young boy, demon or no demon. Please don't say we're considering that. Connor is my nephew, but he is also possessed by a demon. Death would be merciful. Oh. No? What? What about the mage? He could know something of this demon. If he still lives, we could speak to him. He's down in the dungeon, still alive. Then we should bring him here immediately. I... I do not know how much we can trust him. But we must find out what he knows. Tigan, could you find him? I... will try. Though if he resists, I will not hesitate to kill him. I'll return shortly. You're lucky to be alive, Jowl. After all you've done! I didn't summon any demon, Lady Isol, but I did poison the Arl, and that started all this. I'm willing to help if you'll let me. The demon in Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt, and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade, then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages. But I have... blood magic. Bad magic uses life forces others as raw magic. Yes, that's right. The ritual I know, it requires life energy. A lot of it. All of it, in fact. So, someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. Someone's going to die either way. Indeed. Either my son, or the sacrifice. Let it be me, then. I will give my life for his. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. It does seem like a sensible choice, with a willing participant. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. You're the mage here, not I, my friend. It's you who will be going into the Fade. The decision is yours. Then I know what we must do. My son awaits your decision. Make it quickly. We, we let Joe and cast the ritual. Thank you. If this will save my son, then I am not afraid. Then who will go into the Fade? Will it be you? I will go. You have my eternal gratitude. May the Maker go with you. Then let's... Let's get this started.
come on. Let me just save this. Is that you, Connor? I can hear you. I'm coming. Is anyone out there? Hello? Father, where are you? I don't understand. It's so cold. I want to go home. You there? Have you seen my son? I can I can hear him, but I cannot find him. This blasted fog has me turning in circles. Do you know where you are? Of course I do. I am well, the castle is. It's difficult to remember. Connor calls for me, and I run to find him, yet always he eludes me. Where is Isold? Why am I here? Connor tried helping you, a demon possessed what? him. Possessed? Then we must help him. Is that why you're here? Because I am here to help. You must trust me. You? I do trust you. We must help my son. But I can never find him in this fog. You must find Connor. Please, I beg you. Blessed us who exists in the dark. Shall be done. Who are you? Are you the one that made father ill? Tell me now. No, I did not make your father sick. How do I know that? You could be a liar. You could be a demon. Let us talk calmly then and figure this out. No! You're here to hurt father! I know it! I won't let you! She'll do it. You! You're the one making father sick! I'll help him! You can't stop me! Get out of here! You have to get out! Why do you keep hurting me? Why are you trying to stop me? Gone demon and impede me no further. You will not find what you seek. Turn back now. Obviously, you fear I will indeed find what I seek. Trespasser! I will drive you out! Father wonders, seeking me, trapped within my web. All is as it should be. Why must you interfere? Because I need Alim and Awaken Well. She needs him too. Part of him. The good part. She will not easily release it. No. It is time for you to go now. 
Do not resist, or things will go very badly for you. Very well. No more illusions. Now we meet face to face. You see my true form and stand in my domain. It is here I am most powerful. And yet I have no wish to engage your power, nor should you be so eager to engage mine. Perhaps we should converse instead. I am willing to talk. Ah, good. I prefer reasonable negotiation whenever possible. Your goal is for me to release the boy's soul. Is that right? I just need the father I cannot The boy with. is useless to me without the father. I release one. I release both. What if you could persuade me to leave voluntarily? No fuss, no bloodshed. I would need some coaxing to let you off the hook. So you will at least consider it? Let me make a proposition then. I abandon the boy. For now. But I retain the contract he and I made. And many years from now, I may return and claim what is mine. This will be long after whatever you want is done. In exchange, I will provide something of value to you. Something you desire. What say you? What would you give me exactly? I offer much. Power, knowledge, leisure. What is it you desire? Arcade secrets. Then it is a deal. You will have what you desire. Yes. And I'll leave as if destroyed. For now, I wish you luck. Dear creature, you shall certainly need it. So it is over. Connor is his old self. He does not seem to remember anything, which is a blessing. I suppose we will need to send him to the Circle of Magi's Tower for training once the war is over. 
It's so odd to think of the boy as a mage, of all things. Should Eamon recover? I'm not sure how I will tell him of all this. Isolde is dead, yet her sacrifice saved their son. <clears throat> there is still the matter of Jowan. He performed the ritual and did not deceive us. In a way, he saved Connor's life, even though he killed Isolde. I am unsure what to make of this. We will hold him for Eamon to decide his fate. If he doesn't recover, Jowan's fate is sealed. What do you think? Do whatever you want with him. Very well. I shall have the mage imprisoned again for now. But our task is not done yet. Whatever the demon did to my brother, it seems to have spared his life, but he remains comatose. We cannot wake him. As odd as it may seem, the quest Isolde sent the knights on may be our only hope. We must find the urn of sacred ashes. What about magic? It has been tried, and we will continue trying. Perhaps the demon's absence will make a difference. However, the relic is another option. Eamon funded the research of a Denerim scholar, a brother Genetivi. He has been trying to decipher the inscriptions on Andraste's birth rock. When Eamon fell ill, Isolde sent her knights to Genetivi in the hopes that he had finally discovered the location of Andraste's final resting place. They were unable to find him. In desperation, Isolde sent others in search of the brother or some clue of the urn's location. What will you be doing in the meantime? I must organize Eamon's knights as they return, draft new soldiers, and prepare the army to fight. I shall hand Redcliffe back to Eamon when he awakens, and in a state where it can be of some use in the coming war. Truly, what other choice do I have? I will see if I can find this relic. No one else can. Even if I wish to do it myself, I cannot abandon Redcliffe to its own devices. Perhaps you could seek out the brother's home in Denerim and see if any clues remain on his whereabouts. It is the As only place to begin the search, to to I, I must go to the hall and begin rebuilding. I wish you luck, and may the Maker go with you. <laughs> Where are my... Restore. Might be nice to actually give her a healing thing. saved me. Your mother saved you, actually. Oh, I wish mother were here. Nobody will tell me how she died. They say I'll find out when I'm older. more 
not outside. Huh? As you say. I shall do it. Stone dragon statue. Oh. Allow me. I could do mm. that for you. Very well. Okay. That is a uh, red cliff. Bodies that we'll uh, <laughs> we'll take. It shall be done. So I feel like we should go to that room. Now that we're back at the camp, I want to talk about what happened at Redcliffe. What's on your mind? You let Lady Isolde sacrifice herself with blood magic. How could you do that? It was her choice, Alice. She was grasping at straws. Of course she would sacrifice herself. She felt guilty for what happened. But there must have been another way. This is the Arl's wife we're talking about here. What do you think he'll say when we revive him? I see that there were larger things. I just don't know how you could do it. How you could make that decision. I owe the Arl more than this. I honestly did the best I could have. You're right. Of course you're right. Such an ass. I should know better than to second guess you like this. Oh, why am I getting on your back about it? You did what you had to. It's just all this death. Never mind. Let's just stop there before I do more than shove my foot in my mouth like an idiot. Oof. What do you need? Ask away. You keep your You seat. never ask? That's a cheap answer. Uh, all right. 
If you want the full explanation, I'll give it to you. The thing is, I'm used to not telling anyone who didn't already know. It was always a secret. Even Duncan was the only Grey Warden who knew. And then after the battle, when I should have told you. I don't know. It seemed like it was too late by then. How do you just tell someone that? I guess I can understand. I... I should have told you, anyway. It was important for you to know. I guess part of me liked you not knowing. They treat me differently. I become the bastard prince to them, instead of just Alistair. I know that must sound stupid to you, but I hate that it shaped my entire life. I never wanted it, and I certainly don't want to be king. The very idea of it terrifies me. Sound stupid at all. For all the good it does me, my blood seems certain to haunt me no matter what I do. I guess I should be thankful that Arl Eamon is far more likely to inherit the throne. If he's all right. Oh, I hope he's all right. And for what it's worth, I'm sorry for not telling you sooner. It was a dumb thing to do. Apology accepted. I guess it's kind of a relief that you know now. Let's go. Hey, we pulled back some. Something I can help with? I've told you yes. about something. What's on your mind? Mm, I've done all that dialogue options. Emissary Perfa. Wind. Oh, it's been a long day. Rest. Rest would be welcome. Are you alright? Yes, yes, of course. I am just a little weary. As you may have noticed, I'm no spring chicken. Still some life in those old bones, I bet. Thank you. You're very kind to say so. But in all honesty, I do not know how many years I have left in me. I have lived for such a long time. But there is always something else to do. And I have to keep going in order to do it. I think I will be glad when I am done. I'm sure you'll be kicking around for years no, yet. Oh, I don't know. I really don't. Jesus. Have you encountered many abominations, apart from the ones in the Circle Tower? Well, there was Connor. Ah, yes, Connor. The first time I saw an abomination, my blood turned to ice. It was months before the nightmare stopped. It was the knowledge that I could easily become one of them that frightened me the most. You are a great mage. Every mage is vulnerable, no matter how accomplished or powerful. That is the first thing we learn. And overconfidence can lead to recklessness. One slip. All it takes is one slip. And everything you are is simply gone. Replaced by madness. And there is no turning back. Or at least that's what they say. You have doubts? Of late, I have begun to wonder if... 
if there is any way an abomination can be cured, or if a mage could be so possessed and still retain their sanity, their humanity. If one retains one's humanity, one is not an abomination. Yes. It is madness and cruelty that define abominations. If those are lacking, if the mage remembers the person they truly are, then they are not an abomination. I never saw that. Thank you for showing me another way of looking at it. Hey. I must ask, what does being a Grey Warden mean to you? There's that, of course. But there's more to being a Grey Warden than killing Darkspawn and saving the world from the Blight. Ultimately, being a Grey Warden is about serving others. About serving all people, whether elves or dwarves or men. You mean to say I serve as a protector? As a Grey Warden, you are a guardian of men. And you guard them because their continued existence is more important than you are. Thus, it is you who serves, not they. I will keep that in mind. A good king, a true king who cares for his land, uses his power to rule firmly but fairly. He serves his people first and foremost. The king who does not do this, who believes that he is entitled to his power, who abuses it, and uses it for his own means, is a tyrant. So in a way, having power confines you. If you live apart from others, and your actions affect only you, then you may do as you wish. But if you have power, influence, and strength, your every action will be as a drop of water in a clear, still pond. The drop causes ripples, and ripples spread. Think of how far they will go, how wide they will become, how will they affect the pond. But I've lectured enough for today. I should stop before I wear out my welcome. You're quite taken with each other, aren't you? You know about Morgan and me? Well, she's hardly discreet. The way she looks at you, it's as though she's completely forgotten there's anything of you above the waist. That's part of her charm. I've noticed your blossoming relationship, and I wanted to ask you where you thought it was going. She is a cunning woman, a Maleficar. She will use you for her own ends. No, I trust Morrigan. I am telling you what I see and what my instincts tell me. And even if the feelings you share are genuine, this affair may not be the best thing for either of you. You are a Grey Warden. You have responsibilities which supersede your personal desires. I'm a human being with emotions, not just a Grey Warden. Love is ultimately selfish. Jesus it demands man. that one be devoted to a single person who may fully occupy one's mind and heart to the exclusion of all else. A Grey Warden cannot afford to be selfish. You may be forced to make a choice between saving your love and saving everyone else. And then what would you do? I don't want to have to make that choice. Nothing is certain. Not in these times. You cannot take anything for granted. I want you to be aware of this. Morgan and I can't. If you and I have given Yeah, I don't care when. That was stupid advice. Get fucked. Something I can help with? Talk to you yes? about something. What's on your mind? No, nothing. <laughs> something I can help with? Nothing, never mind. Talk to Alistair. What do you need? Ask away. Yep. Did that. Here I am. Care to answer some questions? Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. What does it take to become an assassin? Well, 
The crows would have you believe that it is an involved process that takes years of training. The sort that tests both your resolve and your endurance. Survive that process and maybe, just maybe, you're good enough to start being considered one of them. But quite frankly, the truth is that all it requires is the desire to kill people for a living. It's surprising how well one can do in such a field. You did quite well, no doubt. Within the crows, I did. But it has been something the crows have devoted a great deal of time to perfecting. An assassin simply specializes in striking from stealth and in maximizing that first attack to be as lethal as possible. Debilitate your foe, either by poison or by crippling their limbs, makes any follow-up combat you need to engage in that much simpler. Sounds like it could be useful. See? Getting paid for the act is beside the point. An assassin is more a tactical choice than a lifestyle. Of course, the crows like to pretend that their abilities are trade secrets, shrouded in shadows and wrapped in a blanket of mystery. So let's just keep this between you and me, shall we? Hmm? Here I am. I care to answer oh, some questions. This should be good. Go ahead. Why did you want to leave the crows exactly? Well, now. I imagine that's a very fair question. Being an assassin, after all, is a, a living, at least as far as such things go. I was simply never given the opportunity to choose another way. So, if that choice presents itself, why should I not seize upon it? What would you rather do? Now that you mention it, I am not entirely certain. I was but a boy of seven when I was purchased. For three sovereigns, I'm told. Which is a good price, considering I was all ribs and bone and didn't know the pommel of a dagger from the pointy end. The crows buy all their assassins that way. Buy them young, raise them to know nothing else but murder. And if you do poorly in your training, you die. And that system works? Of course. You compete against your fellow assassins, and those who survive are rightfully proud of it. In Antiva, being a crow gets you respect, it gets you wealth, it gets you women, and, or whatever it is you might fancy. But that does not mean doing what is expected of you always. And it means being expendable. It's a cage, if a gilded cage. Pretty, but confining. I think I understand. As for what I'll do in the future, presuming that there is one, I truly can't imagine. It might be interesting to go into business for myself, for a change. Far away from Antiva, of course. For now, naturally, I go where you go. And the crows eventually find you. <laughs> eventually can be a very, very long time if one plays one's cards right. Come now, enough chit-chat. Talking about the crows summons them, you know. Any Antivan fishwife could tell you so. Here I am. Get to answer some questions. Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. Tell me a little bit about Antiva. Oh, you wish to know about Antiva, do you? The only way to truly appreciate it would be to go there. It is a warm place, not cold and harsh like this Ferelden. In Antiva it rains often, but the flowers are always in bloom. Or so the saying goes. Don't you want to go back? It's not really a matter of wanting to go back. I cannot go. At least not yet. I hail from the glorious Antiva city. Home to the royal palace. It is a glittering gem amidst the sand, my Antiva city. Do you come from someplace comparable? I'm not from any glittering gem, no. No? That is too bad. If you were, then surely you would spend as much time boasting about it as I do. Hmm. You know what is most odd? We speak of my homeland, and for all its wine and its dark-haired beauties and the lilo flutes of the minstrels, I miss the leather the most. This I have to hear. I mean the smell. For years I lived in a tiny apartment near Antiva City's leather-making district, in a building where the crows stored their youngest recruits. Packed in like crates, 
<laughs> I grew accustomed to the stench, even though the humans complained of it constantly. To this day, the smell of fresh leather is what reminds me most of home more than anything else. Sound like you've been far away from home forever. Oh, not so long, I know. It is my first time away from Antiva, however, and the thought of never returning makes me think of it constantly. Before I left, I was tempted to spend what little coin I possessed on leather boots I spotted in a store window. Finest Antivan leather. Perfect craftsmanship. Ah, but I was a fool to leave them. I thought, ah, Zevran, you can buy them when you return as a reward for a job well done. More than a fool I, no? <laughs> no uneven boots for you. True, and it's a comforting thought. One simply never knows what is to come next. How could I have suspected I would end up defeated by a handsome Grey Warden? A man who then spares my life? I could not. Everyone makes mistakes. Even Grey Wardens who spared the lives of assassins? <laughs> Understood. Now, if it is all the same to you, I would prefer not to speak more of... Here I am. Oh, this should personal. What? Never what? mind. Um, let's have a look at the Oh yeah, I'm gonna save it. Just in case that These are your mother's flowers, aren't they? These were her favorite. I haven't seen these in such a long time. They smell just like mother used to. Thank you. Thank you so much for remembering. Hey. You called. As you wish. I don't think Stan has anything. Win. Oh, marvelous. Treasure it. Thank you. Interesting. Interesting. Hey. Massive magic. <laughs> I trust you some people. So, full of questions. Never mind. <laughs> we are in camp, so tis as good a time as... Hmm, perhaps? Shall I consult my capricious nature and divine an answer for you? I am to be indulged. How exciting. Let me think. I say not... You are denied. <laughs> Another time, my sweet. For now, I shall leisurely pretend disinterest. Yeah. <laughs> we are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Discuss away. Never talked about our nights together. What is there to speak of? <laughs> Do you wish me to tell you how wonderful you are? Shall I say you are virile and manly? Only if you really want to. I prefer action over words. <coughs> Why don't you prove literally it literally just me? said no. Mm -hmm. ah, that I Good. I hate long discussions. 
<laughs> uh, never mind. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. Good to have you along on the road. I'm sure you... need one more of them Actually, to destroy it, dumb. that the fighting has gone Enough. exactly as you... I would like to know what you intend to accomplish, Father. Should we not be fighting the Darkspawn instead of each other? The nobility should be brought into line and then the Darkspawn defeated. This is no true blight, Honora. Only Kalen's vanity demanded it be so. Beg pardon, sir. But blight or no, we may not have the manpower to face the Darkspawn soon. Kalen approached your legions for support, did he no. not? Marek and I drove those bastards out! Not roll out the welcome for them now! We need help, Father. We cannot deal with this crisis alone. Ferelden will stand on its own! I will lead it through this, Anora. You must have faith in me. Did you kill Kalen? Kalen's death was his own doing. Oof. Big oofs. going on
that was the wrong person. Alistair, please take one of them. Don't kill him. What why not? He is no common bandit. None of them were. Their weapons and armor are of fine make, and they are well trained. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Who are you? <laughs> Someone who regrets taking you on. I was told it would be an easy job. Kill the little red haired girl. Deal with the others as we pleased. Kill the you came to kill me? Does this have something to do with Ole? It could. You may be right. Who sent you? Why am I wanted dead? <laughs> I don't pay to ask why someone wants someone else dead. I just need to know what to do and where to get my money. Ha! <laughs> money. I'll be lucky to get away with my life, it seems. Maybe we could work something out. You like the idea? Speak quickly. I've no real quarrel with you. Wasn't me that wanted you dead. But I know how you can find the one who does. Ooh. Your life information, though. I have some directions written down on how to get to the house. It's in Denerim. Yeah. It's the best I can do. Thank you. Now leave. I never want to see you again. Get lost before we change Don't our mind. Worry. I'll not trouble you no more. It's Marjolaine. It has to be. I thought you had escaped from her. I thought the same. Maybe someone saw me. Maybe she's finally found me and wants to finish what she started. Go to Denerim to confront her. Perhaps it's time to settle this score for good. Begun. Take. My oh. Very well. And money. Right. Um. Meliana. What to do with you? Absolutely still. Master stealing. Some courage. Oh. I'm not be too bad. No, I'm just absolutely just. Right, we'll go forward. Sherman 
Roman soldiers die, right? You might need to. Is he pounced on? Sake. Should have saved after that assassin one. Indeed. Yes. Indeed. <sighs> yeah. We must not yeah. exhaust our
and kill him. Kill the... You can... I've no real quarrel with you. Thank you. Now leave. It's Marjolaine. Maybe someone saw me. Right. Gunning. Max. Uh. Jesus. I shall do it. save it and we will go very very slowly uh, it's going okay we've just died very well to about 200 wolves Be done. Bear? Well, I haven't even come across a bear yet. Wolves? I'd like to die. There was there was about twenty. That. What is that? Stop going forward. We are taking this very very slowly. I'm gonna save. for everyone to heal up and then I'll save again. I think I might have like accidentally like pulled two waves and they just absolutely wrecked us. Oh nice some fire arrows. For the archer we don't have in our party. Back, back, back. Thank <laughs> you. 
god. Okay, at least they're coming in one at a time. As you say. <laughs> I know I got swarmed. That's what happened last time. But I'm taking it slow. Save again. Very well. Oh, it's because I haven't sold my shit either. I'll have to go back to camp and do all the dialogue options again. As you say. I'm assuming that this is the bear. Oh god. Sam, you got wrecked by that. You got wrecked by that. Wow. <laughs> got wrecked by this thing. Oh. <laughs> God, Sam, I don't believe you. I think you just died to it. Alright, go back to camp. Light. How will you end it? Um, have to fight the Archdemon. Is that all? It is surrounded by an ocean of darkspawn. How will you reach it? If you reach it, how will you slay it? You say you are a Grey Warden. I have heard stories of this order. Wait, do you doubt I'm really a Warden? Great strategists and peerless warriors. That is what we hear of the Wardens. So far, I am not impressed. I'm literally a... I'm new. Will you make that excuse to the Archdemon? Or the victims it claims in the meantime? Oh, fuck off, Stan. You called. As you wish. Sorry, did I even do all my conversation options? Yeah, I am. Done? Oh, this should be Oh, good. okay. Yeah, we did. Oh, I didn't even talk to him last time. <laughs> we are in camp, so to discuss away. What is there to speak of? <laughs> Do we? I prefer action over work. Good. There we go. Right, I can actually talk to you now. Oh, let me go through the companion stuff. Um, yeah, we gave Alistair his Templar helmet. Leliana's fine. Oh, actually, because we got Chalmel boots. What's he got on? Heavy Chalmel boots. Liliana. That's better. That was about a few. That gives you dexterity. I think 
that's better for you. So yeah, sure. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on. Right. Let me sell these. We've got ten of them as well. Sell these daggers. So, 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 so. Just didn't do the gifts, that's all it was. Give this to Liliana. Mm, flowers. Oh, oh, thank you. They're very pretty. Smell them. These were her favourite. Oh, right, we did that. Okay, so she's fine. Get the book to win. Oh, marvelous! Yeah. <laughs> you give Stan. Unexpected. Thank you. Interesting. Oh, I didn't even sell all the fucking things yet. I shall treasure it. Thank you. Oh, she's already got up there. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on... You are not allowed bears. You can't have them anymore, eh? Stan. Just to do refugees. Quickly, I'm going to give Stan your thing. Just completely make him absolutely combat tactics. I want to give him a two handed blade if I can. We have got one. Oh, we did. I don't know. Oh, there it is. Requires 34, so he'll need a level up to use it. Right, I'm gonna pop to the loo and then find out what this is.
me begin. Doesn't seem to be like that many people here to fear. Rough travels out here, eh? We even saw Dark Spawn on the way in. Dark Spawn, you don't say. Right, Dark Spawn. We killed a whole band of them on the way up from Lothering. We're delivering a message to the Chantry in Denerim. You? What's the message about? We saw a blood mage down near the Brazilian forest. We're off to tell the Chantry about him. I see. Well, good luck. Thanks. We're heading out. Stay safe. Oh, is that all they are? What was that quest? Oh, maybe I should not have done that. <laughs> Let me load that again. I think I was supposed to stop them. Rough travels out here, eh? We're delivering a message to the chat. <laughs> I thought you said. Wait. Uh. Stay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> ah, that's what that was. It was a thingy quest. All the refugees are fucking dead. Oh, Jesus Christ. Stop doing that spell. I don't know where that dark spawn's gone. Fuck's sake, you idiot. Oh my god! You might as well just die, refugee. We're just gonna load. <laughs> We're just gonna load this. Fuck it out. All the refugees are pretty much fucking dead. Rough travels out here, eh? 
We even saw... We're delivering a message... <laughs> I thought you... just abandon like the one side of the refugees Oh my god, they're dead. They're dead. They're actually dead. This is worse than last time. Are all the refugees dead? No. There f might as well be. My god. I don't think I've got. I don't think I've got a good party for it. Because Sten is pretty much useless because he hasn't got a double sword. Two handed sword, I should say. Leliana's fucking dead already. I'm gonna die. Yeah. This is not a good party to do this. Can we leave before we get into combat with this? Oh, for fuck's sake. Can't leave. It's just not a good party to do it. Take healing. 
you're dying. Um, Stem also take healing. Meanwhile, I will also need to take that. Is that a fireball? Just all these archers that are wrecking everyone. Uh, well, Leliana's dead because Fireball is just an absolute stupid spell in this game. Fireball is the dumbest spell in this game. It's absolutely ridiculous. The fact that he got two of them popped off as well is stupid to me. Fuck him. Kill him. But, I mean, I kind of want to, but I feel like if I do that, Morrigan, would you care to do me a favor? Oh my god, I am dying. Stop turning that spell on. It's ridiculous. Even though I might need it. Oh. oh my god. Leliana, please take a healing thing. Yeah, that's the thing. Like... Jesus Christ, she's nearly dead already. But, oh my, my god! Like, this is such a stupid combat encounter, I'm sorry, but it is. Everyone is dying. I am dying. Oh, I'm not. I'm not gonna hide here. Right, that's all the melee guys dealt with. It's two archers and him. Oh shit, Morrigan's gonna fucking die. Right, there. Drink. Drink. Stent is okay. Somehow. Right. Um, I then want you to just have a greater. You are going to fuck him over with this. He resisted it. He resisted it! Yeah, do you know what? Do you know what? I'm glad. I'm glad you wasted that on me. How is Sten doing? Sten has cleared that. We've saved at least two refugees. Kill yourself. Uh, Morrigan, I believe I'm going to just get you to take that. 
Stun is fine. Um... What else can we do? Just suck it. In. I'm getting out of that. Oh, there's more. There's more. There's more. There's more. There's more. Just eat. Eat it. Thank you. Right. Sten is absolutely lying into him. Argon is nearly dead. Holy shit. What is attacking Morrigan? Or is she in the death plywood? Come to think of it. Is it because they're all in the plywood? Let's finish this. Come out of that death plywood. I swear if he kills those two refugees. Alright, uh... Please take that. Sten. Um, please drink that for me, Morrigan. I think you're okay. Oh, actually, force field Sten. Yes. Why are you going? Don't go into the death cloud, you idiot. I will just... Oh my god, he's going to die. I am getting my ass kicked. Um, I just need to take one of them. Stan, could you please take one of them? Thank you. Right. He'll stand. We must fight. Let us do it quickly. Right, two of them lived. Two of them lived. No hey, diamonds. Yes, enjoy your work. As you say. Oh, thank you, Maker. Thank you, thank you. We did it. Just one Genlock's body to loot. I shall do it. Back to camp, Jesus. I'm not gonna take Stan until he levels up. <sighs> if there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. I'm sure you'll be pleased. I might go to the Major's Tower to be fair. Let's go to the Mage's Tower. Uh, Alistair, how are your... 
boots in comparison with these. Not brilliant, so we'll leave them. Oh god. Yes. Indeed. Indeed. Um, I'm gonna go to the docks. No, stop. <laughs> Just want to loot. Nice, right, we're getting some healing stuff back. I was determined not to use, like, any sort of healing. Very well. Client is very pleased. Come back soon. Hey. Thank you. I. I shall do it. All the dreams. Good to see you again. Is that the ten D mushroom one? I think it was actually. Yeah. And for whose amusement? Some being of cosmic power. Make her rest the souls of all, Templar and maid, who gave their lives defending the church. Welcome back, youngster. Looking to go across to the tower? Off we... Back there. 
might have a go at the Revenant. You went above and beyond the call of duty for I Oh. You went above you've already done much for the circle. I My men have scouted the You are very thorough. I'm impressed. And I am thankful you arrived when you You really killed all those abominations? I'm sure you need supplies after that, don't you? Uh, absolutely. Let's have a look at stuff that we've got here then. Um, okay. Yeah. I don't know if I have. I dread to think of what might have become of us if you hadn't come along. Come swift sword and deliver me that I might find them. You've rested enough. We need to get these out of the tower before they get fragrant. Touching those abominations. It's wrong. Someone is scared. Why do we have to take them out? Right there. Go into the oh, it's quest, isn't it? Some journal. Open hands for the first summoning flames. 
Uh, we could try the summon and pump one. So we've done that. Select the second passage from the Tome of Spirit Personages. That. the font it shall be done that one done. So it would be summoning the second exercise do. So recite that, place one silver coin at the feet of the statue of the Mags of Gorvish. Pass open hands through the second. Okay. So. Reverence. Uncommon calling. And then Magus Gorvish. Exercise three. So the second passage. So Alvorn's Grand Eye. to the common time of spirit. Be done. It's not done it, you idiot. Yeah. Mm. There we 
we go. Let's breathe on the novice black tray. It is begun. I shall do it. As you say. Oh my god. Is there like a time limit on it or something? Alright, or do I need to look at the codex? First area common table. Oh, that's why. I'm gonna set over that. So trace. Shall be done. Trace the chosen sigil, place a lock of hair between the pages of Spiritum Ethereales. There it is. What do you need? No, Alistar. Calister's gesture and then breathe. So and then activate this one. As you say. Done then. I think it is. There is a fourth. Doing. I wish I could have gone with them to fight. I just gotta remember where this uh, thing is. It's the room with the toppled statue in. Do that. And we're done, man. Oh, it's you! You'll settle for a handshake, won't you? Give me a kiss on the forehead, eh? <laughs> Might not seem like much. Come. Oh, just thought we'd talk to him. 
toppled statue. Might be on the other floor, to be fair. Oh no, it's here. Please torn. <laughs> Please take a help poultice. I need you to take a delirium. I will save and come off now. We'll have a break. Thank 
you.